Hello guys, welcome to Bloggersprout. I'm Nidhij Keshav and in this video, I will show you how you can easily fix WordPress fatal error. So for any reason, whether you have updated the plugin or you have done nothing but the, it shows a fatal error, then in this tutorial, I will show you step by step how you can easily fix the WordPress fatal error. So let's get started with this video. Okay guys, so if you are facing a problem of fatal error, so you can get a screen something like this, where it will be written as this. Uh, that there is been a critical error or if your WordPress has the WordPress debug turned on you can get something like this uh, so it, so this is a normal uh, WordPress website as you can see here and it's running on my local computer so I have just uh, um, created an error so that you can really understand how to fix it it is the same process uh, if you are fixing it in your hosting panel so you can see it's my front end and if I reload this page you can see that we are still getting this error so in uh, so every wordpress website has uh, on different hosting panels has different way of outputting the error so in my case you can see the, uh, it's been clearly written here down below that that there has been a critical error and this information is because we have turned on the wordpress debug feature which should be turned off if you are on a website that is uh, already working and is in production mode which means uh, you are not developing that website so debug sh feature should be turned off so if your debug feature is turned off you will see just uh, a normal message something like this which is just the same as this okay uh, so in this case if you try to uh, get access to your WordPress admin you can see here WP admin you will get the same error as this so in this case you are totally logged out of your WordPress website but don't worry I will show you a simple and easy step how to get rid of this and how you can easily fix it uh, without any writing any code so for that I have already written a complete blog post on my blogger sprout the link has been given in the description below and I have covered all the tutorials about how you you can get this which are the methods that works so in most of the cases 90% cases this case method one works and for others for the 10% case this method works also if you are facing uh, if you are using WooCommerce and if you are facing this kind of error how to fix it and uh, the last option is the database option method which uh, which gets your WordPress completely fixed okay so these are there are different methods I have already covered this uh, and also have a uh, YouTube video and this is also now a new latest updated video so the, I will remove this video and give the latest video here okay so let's get started so first of all you need to log into your cPanel and after you log into your cPanel you need to go to your WordPress admin uh, WordPress root folder and then to your WordPress content folder so here you can see I will just bring on my uh, uh, so you can see here this is my WordPress uh, root installation directory okay and here in my WP content uh, uh, you will find plugins and themes now the thing is that you need to see is that if you are getting any error something just like this where there is no information given just try to remember how this problem occurred means uh, have you recently updated the theme or a plugin or you have installed a plugin if you have done so that uh, the case uh, the problem is uh, within the theme or the plugin so you need to deactivate that and if you don't remember and suddenly your WordPress has been updated and you got this error what you need to do is you just need to come to your uh, root folder and into the folder of WP content and since uh, so I will try first to deactivate all the plugins so I will just click on the plugin folder and I will rename it okay so you have to do the same process uh, for your uh, WordPress website in your hosting panel so you can easily rename any folder in your hosting panel using the file manager I am showing it in my local computer but the process is almost the same guys so you don't need to worry that I am doing it on my computer and the process would be different no the process is just the same so so I will just rename the plugin to backup minus plugin okay and once I have done this uh, I just need to go and reload the website I will just reload the website and yeah the WordPress website is working fine so let's try it for the WordPress admin side uh, so let's go and refresh the uh, page and that's it guys the reason is because I will show you once again uh, by replicating the problem and so you can really understand how, how this uh, 
method works and why the errors come so i have just now removed the backup from the plugins and made it plugins so now you can see there are no plugins but if i now reload it all the plugins will appear which i have installed it okay so these are the plugins that were activated so i created this plugin just right now and this is because i uh, have created i have written a code uh, which is not correct so this will output an error so let's activate this plugin and you will get the error okay so here you can see uh, the could not be a, uh, could not be a, like uh, activated because of fatal error so wordpress is getting smarter but what uh, i will show you is like i will activate it so let's uh, just hold on guys and i will just show you okay so let's go and click on edit edit with the visual code studio and now i can activate this plugin and once this plugin has been activated i will just so what happened in real uh, real life studies is that uh, since in your wordpress website you will be using uh, one theme and lots of plugins so most of the time the problem is uh, in the plugins so what happens like uh, just think you are using the, this all plugins let them um, let i will just install this few plugins here limit uh, smush and also like wordpress importer and also like uh, and your stacy okay all these plugins and i'll just activate it so in real case, life case studies we use a lot of plugin on our wordpress website as you can see i have already created lots of website uh, lots of plugins i have uh, and all most of the plugins are active so what happens is like uh, any of the plugin gets automatic update uh, and your wordpress website shows this message this is because uh, suppose this is my web this is the plugin p plug which i have created here and you can see it's the version is 4013 and now i will just create a new version 4314 and i will suppose i have updated the plugin okay since i am a developer i have the rights to update the plugin and i have updated the plugin but now what happens is your wordpress website was working but suddenly it has gone to this now this is not your problem this is the problem of the plugin and you have done nothing wrong so since this is a local wordpress website this error is been showing here but in most of the cases only this part will be shown to you okay only this part will be shown that there has been a critical error on your wordpress website please check your admin uh, email inbox for the instruction okay this this part is only being shown something just like this okay this is what uh, you will be shown and you will be completely logged out of the wordpress admin so the easy fix that i have already shown you is that you just need to go and go to your wp content folder in your hosting panel file manager and just click on it uh, and rename it to something just uh, give it anything i will just i just prefer to write backup slash plugins okay so what happens is that uh, okay i just need to close this code okay so what happens is that as soon as i rename this plugin the wordpress tries to find uh, the folder where the plugin is there okay so only for the uh, plugin folder the wordpress tries to find out since wordpress couldn't find any uh, folder named plugins it says that there uh, that we don't have any folder known as name as plugin so deactivate all the plugins that are currently active so wordpress triggers this message and the database automatically clears out all the plugins okay so you will get something like this as soon as you rename the plugins to backup minus plugins you will get this message that all these plugins has been deactivated now you can see the reason that it has been deactivated due to an error because plugin file does not exist okay so this is the reason why this plugins has been deactivated now since you will be uh, since the wordpress fatal error has been fixed uh, the case same for themes also you can just do the same thing but instead of renaming the theme you just need to rename the folder of the uh, of any of this theme okay so in most of the cases just keep it keep the default one so right now the default is 20 20, uh, 20 uh, sorry 2021 okay and so if you are using 2020 just right click rename it and write backup in front of it and the wordpress will automatically shift to the default theme okay but in case of plugin wordpress doesn't have any default plugin so it's better to just rename the entire plugins but now you will be saying that okay i get it now the wordpress fatal error has been solved but 
without plugins i can't use my wordpress website and that's absolutely right without plugins wordpress has no power okay so we need to do it just we need to uh, come back and just rename it again and uh, and just delete the backup part and and just refresh this page okay so since we have just uh, fixed the wordpress error but keep in mind the wordpress error still exists in one of the plugins what you have to do is now you have to go and manually activate one of the one by one plugin okay so when you are going when you will be going through this process and you will be activating one of the plugin which is causing this error you can get a message something like this or you or your wordpress website will again stop working okay so if your wordpress website stops working or you get any message something like this then you can exactly know that the error is in this plugin and all you need to do is just click on delete and okay and your wordpress website is completely fixed from this fatal error so i hope guys you have uh, you have learned how to fix a wordpress error and if you want to uh, get more support and access for uh, for wordpress uh, for your wordpress you can do is one thing that install this plugin go to plugins add new and go to search and search for glorious support service okay so here is this plugin glorious services and support click on install it and click on activate so once activated you will get this message just click on allow and continue this helps the plugin developer to know what what plugins you are using so if in case you get an error they can easily fix it and this also helps them to develop the wordpress plugin more so by helping them you can you will be sharing just a normal non-sensitive data and here you just need to activate all the of this uh, it's all up to you whether you want to activate or not so here you can see it's written non not active and i'll just uh, turn this on and click on save changes and here i have got all the services that they are providing for wordpress okay so here the, this is the and the best part is that as soon as you go to your dashboard you will find this small message icon that allows you to directly chat to one of their support team members and and they are very really uh, super fast uh, and they will really help you out so that's it guys that's uh, how you can fix the wordpress fatal error so i hope you liked it if you like uh, this video just don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel blogger sprout links are given in the description and if you're watching on youtube don't forget to show your love thank you guys so i'll meet you on my next video